In this video, we're going to look at using coding to find the mean of a data set with large numbers. Let's take three small numbers. Let's have four, five, and six. We can see that the mean of these three numbers is going to be five. You can either do that by symmetry or you can add them up and divide by three. What I'm going to do is add 10 to each of these. If I do, I'll have 14, 15, and 16. We've now got a mean of 15. So by adding 10 to each of these values, I've increased the mean by 10. In general, we can say if we add the value of b to each of these, then the mean will also increase by that value, b. Let's take the numbers again, 4, 5, 6. We know that the mean is going to be 5. This time, I'm going to multiply each of these values by 10. If we do that, we'll get 40, we'll get 50, and we'll get 60. The mean of these three numbers, quite clearly, is going to be 50. So when I've multiplied each by 10, the mean has also multiplied by 10. In general, we can say now, if we multiply these by a scale factor of A, the mean also increases by a scale factor of A. This allows us to set up what we call linear coding. So we can apply a linear transformation to make the numbers in our data set smaller. We find the mean of the coded data and then reverse the process to find the mean of the original data. In general, we can say if we have y is equal to ax plus b, where this now is a linear coding, x being the original data set, y being the coded one, we can say y bar, the mean of our coded data, will be equal to a multiplied by x bar, which is now the mean of the original data plus b. So we can see that this can be worked backwards now to find the original mean of the data set, or the data set's original, how should I put it, the, the mean of the original data set, that sounds a little better. So let's look at this in action then, let's see what we can do. So we're asked to find the mean of the following data set x using the code in y is equal to x minus 3 divided by 7. So let's go ahead now and just put this in a table. You certainly don't need a table, but it might make your work slightly neater. So what we have then are the values of x. So we've got x and we've got y. We've got 52. If I subtract 3 and divide by 7, that'll give me 7. 73, subtract 3, divide by 7, I'll get 10. 31, subtract 3, divide by 7, I'll get 4. 73, we're going to get 10 again. 38, we're going to end up with 5. 80, we're going to end up with 11. 17, we're going to end up now with 2. And then finally, 24, we're going to end up now with 3. So all I've done is applied the linear coding y is equal to x minus 3 over 7. We can say that y bar will be equal now to x bar minus 3 over 7. So what I'm going to do is find y bar. So I'm going to add all of these up and then divide by the number that they are. So if we go ahead and add that up, we've got now 17, 21, 31, 36, 47, then we've got 49 and we've got 52. So we've got now in total 52 and we're going to divide this by 8. So 52 divided by 8 is going to give me 13 over 2, which is 6.5. So let's just write this in. We've got 52 over 8. Therefore, we can say that y bar is going to be 6.5. So all we need to do to find x bar is work this backwards. So 6.5 will be equal to x bar, the mean of the original data set, subtract 3 and then divide by 7. 7 times by 6.5 is going to give me 45.5 and that will be x bar minus 3. Adding 3 to both sides we've got 48.5 and that now is the mean of the original data set. Now these weren't massive numbers. You can see though if they were how this could be quite effective. So what we've done then is applied the linear transformation we found the mean of the coded data and then we've worked it backwards to find the mean of the original data set. Okay, let's look at another question. The coded mean price of televisions in a shop was worked out. Using the code in y is equal to x minus 65 over 200, the mean price was 1.5. We're asked to find the true mean price of the televisions. So what we can say then is y bar will be equal to x bar minus 65 over 200. So simply subbing in 1.5, this now is the mean of the coded data, or y bar, x bar minus 65 over 200. Multiplying both sides by 200, that will give me 300, is equal to x bar minus 65. 
adding 65 to both sides, we can see that x bar is 365. So we can say that the mean price of the televisions was £365. We're simply working backwards. So there are a couple of examples where we've got discrete data. In this example now, we've got grouped data. So we're looking at continuous data. We're told the group frequency table shows the age, A years, at which a sample of 100 women had their first child. In part A, we're asked to copy and complete the table. In part B, it says using the coding, y is equal to x minus 14 over 2. Calculate, or use the coding to calculate an estimate of the mean age at which women have their first child. OK, so this is group data. So we're going to be looking at an estimate. We don't know where these 24 women sit in this particular class. We don't know where the 27 women sit here. So what we're going to do now is find a midpoint. So we're looking now at the midpoint of each of these classes. So we're going to do now the midpoint. So the midpoint in the first one, that's going to give me now 16. We will have 24. We will have now 29. We're going to have 34. And we're going to have now 40. So what we're looking to do is apply this linear coding. So we're taking the midpoint, we're subtracting 14, dividing by 2. So if I take 16, subtract 14, divide by 2, I'm going to get 1. If I take 24, subtract 14, divide by 2, that'll give me 5. Then we're going to get 7.5. We're going to end up now with 10. And then we're going to end up now on here with 13. So what I want now is the following. I want to work out an estimate for the mean. So I'm going to say that now an estimate for y bar will be equal now to the sum of fy over the sum of f. And this is what we've looked at in previous videos to find an estimated mean from group data. So let's go ahead and find now this sum fy. So if I put this here, fy, this is now the frequency times coded data. So we're going to have now 11, we're going to have 120. Uh, let's work this out, 7.5 times by 27. Let's put that in the calculator, 7.5 times by 27, perhaps I should know it. Um, 405 over 2, 202.5, so 202.5. Then we're going to get 260, which is nice and easy. And then we're going to get uh, 12 times 13, which is 156. OK, so what we need then is the sum of Fy. So we need to add these up and divide it by the sum of F. Well, we're told now the frequency is 100, so we can put here now that the sum of f is 100. So let's go ahead now and find this. This is the sum of fy. So this isn't a new skill, it's just the coding is. So let's go ahead and add these up. So what we've got then is the following. We've got now 11 plus the 120 plus now the 202.5, so 202.5 plus now the 260. And then we've got plus the 156, plus 156. Okay, so that gives us now 1499 over 2. So that's, let's put that in, 749.5. So 749.5, what's it, 0 0.55, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay, so that's now the sum of Fy. So what we're looking at then is the following. We can say that Y bar is going to be 749.5 divided by 100. So we're going to get y bar, and that's going to be 7.495. So nice straightforward calculation, that's what we have. Now, here we know that y is equal to x minus 14 over 2. So we can say y bar will be equal to x bar minus 14 over 2. So I'm simply going to sub this in. So let's go ahead and do that. We got 7.495 is equal to x bar minus 14 over 2. So this is now using the coding and working backwards, we can get an estimate for now the mean of the original data set. So what we'll have then is two lots of 7.495. We will add to that now 14 and that will give us the mean of the original data set. So let's do that. Let's now divide this by the 100 and then that will give us the value of 7.495. We'll now times this, multiply this by the value that we had, which is 2. That will give us the value there, and then we're going to add to this number 14. So this will give us um, the 2. So what have we got? 2899. So 28.99, and that's now the value of x bar. 
So if we did this now to three significant figures, it's going to be 28.0, and that's going to be 28.0 years old. And I'll just put that now to three SF, so three significant figures. So there we go. We've worked that. Uh, so that should be 29. My apologies. Uh, let's make that 29, not 28. So 29.0, and that is going to be correct to three significant figures. So all we've done is work the code in backwards. As stated, this is just an estimate. You would kind of hope that most of the women in the first uh, category or class wouldn't be as uh, young as 11, but again, they might not be right at the other end of the scale, hence why we take the midpoint of each of these, apply the coding and work it back to find out the estimate of the mean of the original data set. So there we go, a brief intro into coding when we're now trying to find the mean of a data set with large numbers 